That's a good question. Hello. Did you get my consent to film this? You are a giant whining bummer. If you're in a public place, you can film anyone at any really? time. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Of course you can. You have to hold the mic. Oh, shit. Well, well, well. How the turntables... Why'd you do what you do? What do you mean, what do I do? You know what you do. I approach girls on the street to show guys that self-development can allow you the confidence to speak to girls and also yeah. that real-life communication and talking and dating is yeah. much better than Tinder swiping. My man. <laughs> I've seen videos of you where you've approached women that look like they don't want to talk to you and you continue trying to talk to them. Liar, liar, your pants on fire. If women don't want to talk to me, I'll say have a nice day and leave them alone. I'll try and convince them to talk to me. I think that's very fair. I'll never grab someone to talk to me. Because what if these guys that approached me last night watched your videos and think, oh, like, if this guy can approach women on their own whenever and the response is really good, that means at 3 a.m. when a girl's walking home on her own, this is a great time to try and approach her. Okay. Then they're stupid and they'll consume something on social media somewhere which is going to tell them to kill someone and they'll do it. They'll listen to drill music and think that it's appropriate to go and stab people. So you're saying bad people will take influence from anywhere regardless of what yeah, you're doing? 100%. So if you approached a girl and the first thing that she says to you, say, can I talk to you? And she says no, are you going to continue trying to talk to her? If she said no and carried on walking by, yeah. I doubt I'd carry on the conversation. Okay. If she said no and stopped and looked at me, you're I'd probably say something because she, she stopped, stopped and talked to me. Whoop, whoop. Let's say there's someone young and impressionable that watches your videos and they see you talking to someone and they say no and then you carry on. I think it's really important to educate men that no means no. Wait a minute, you said no to me. I didn't say did. no to you. Ho oh, oh. Fiction can be fun! That's a good question. No, no, no. Now you have the microphone in your hand. Did that go the way you thought it was gonna go? Nope. I have the microphone in my hand, yes. My point question. being is you came on a, not a bad, but a mm. negative orientation yeah. to my question, yeah. and now you're holding my microphone interviewing me. I think in this, this particular situation, I see your point. A hero. Not the hero we deserved, but the hero we needed. I mean, you could tell right away she's into him. Like, why would you fucking stop? But this is a woman who thinks she's smarter than everyone, who's got no game. You know, she can't flirt without being antagonistic because she's stuck in, in kindergarten. But like, then you get women like this mocking men, calling it princess treatment when they run into a guy who, who prefers that a woman approaches him. When they're the ones who created the environment where, where that's a necessity, where men do that because they don't want their lives ruined for trying to talk to a woman that they might like. Like who the fuck wants to run into the no means no all the time girl? When we all know damn well there is a huge difference between no and no. Right? Like every man in the world knows this, every woman in the world knows this, but they say this type of shit intentionally to put men on the defensive and leverage some sort of power over men in this post Me Too world. But please don't cancel me for saying no doesn't always mean no. Because first of all, bro just proved it. Second of all, it's not coming from me, it's coming from a woman. Y'all remember this gem from a few months ago? So when girls say yes, they mean yes. But when they say yes, they also mean no. Mm -hmm. When they say no, they sometimes mean no, but they sometimes also mean yes. Yes. Or it could be a maybe, but maybe okay. is a yes. Yes. So maybe also means yes. Yeah. And the guy should understand yeah. what she means when she says yes. yes. What is she thinking when right. she says yes, yes to this? <laughs> as dumb as that shit sounds, we all know that that's always been the game. Like that is the reality. That is the absolute minefield that men have to navigate in this post Me Too world. Where there are a lot of women out there who choose to weaponize that ambiguity. You know, the woman at the beginning talked about educating men that no means no. Yeah, I get it. It's always been that way. But maybe, maybe in this Me Too climate, we should be talking about educating women that they can't continue to expect men to read their minds anymore. Learn to say what you mean and mean what you say. I know it's a novel fucking idea, but hey, it might solve a lot of problems. I don't care about that stuff. I don't care to show off like the way that I used to. It's just not who I am anymore. You guys, I just can't even. All these diamonds. <laughs> I almost got you. Same old shit, different day. What do women want? Who cares? <laughs> not cool. I like Dua Lipa. Me too. My daughter is a I singer. I would let her. And she would sing Dua Lipa. And I love what she does. I don't know I know her some songs. people will say, oh no, too sexy, it objectifies. I but don't know the songs, I but loved it. I would let her sh in my mouth if she were. Where does that come from? <laughs> is she all there? Like, mentally? You meet a lot of emotionally unavailable men. Yeah. What does that mean? They, they let me know, like... Like a month in or so. They, they seem Alright, that's enough. I think, uh. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm emotionally unavailable too now, I guess. <laughs> Who's next? So while we're on the subject of no means no, and look, before I get canceled, let me reiterate that yes, I do think no means no, but let me show you exhibit B of why I think it's extremely disingenuous for women to act like no always means no. Check it out. Okay, I am the problem. I don't, I don't, I don't doubt it. I went on a date with this guy and he was like, it's getting late. Do you want to come back to my place? And I was like, sure, but I'm not going to sleep with you. Like that's not happening. Right. And he was like, that's totally fine. Just come over. And I was like, cool. So I go to his place. He respects my wishes. He's so nice. He cuddles me all night. And I'm like, are you gay? Hey, hey, fuck you. Like what? And like, I, I, he, I just wanted him to like try and then for me to be like, no, you know what I mean? <laughs> Shut up! I wasn't gonna sleep with him, I, but I just, now I feel ugly. This is what, that's that bullshit. That's that bullshit right there. She started off so good, man. She held herself accountable, but it just went straight down after that. Like, do we really need to say much about this donkey? She, she went as far as to call the guy gay. Like, you cannot be surprised when a man doesn't want to play these games anymore. You created a culture that allows a woman to leverage the Me Too movement to weaponize her ambiguity so she can retroactively change a yes into a no two weeks later out of spite just to hurt a guy. That cannot coexist in a place where you guys play these cutesy little games. The fact that there are women out there who still haven't figured out that these two things cannot coexist, frankly, is kind of mind-boggling. Did you just say mind-boggling? Yeah, mind-boggling. You know, when things are so crazy, it gets your thoughts all trapped like in a bottle. Um, the type of person I would say I am in a relationship is I'm very caring, nurturing, loving, um, a real uh, protector. What about you? Person you think you are. I'm five foot, but my throat is six six. Okay. All right, we're done here. This morning I woke up craving breast milk ice cream, so I grabbed my electric pump and pumped a few ounces of. Oh my god! Yo, tell the baby to be quiet. He ain't the only one who likes boobs around here. And you left one of your nipple covers in here. Make some more ice cream, though. This shit's bossing. You're a weird motherfucker. Hey, thanks for watching. Just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying the video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. You know the drill. I appreciate you. Let's get right back into it. Fuck. Fuck, bro. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Fuck, dude. Like, fuck. What the fuck? Like, don't bring fuck. me to You need to shut the fuck up. You are still drinking cow's milk? Yeah, the sun. You drink cow's 2%? What do you do? Home milk <gasps> wow, you guys are men. I'm a man. I'm a man who discovered the wheel and built the Eiffel Tower out of metal and brawn. That's manly. <laughs> that's manly. No, that's Wait, attractive. Wait, a guy that drinks cow's milk? Honestly, that's just an entirely new green flag that we have never tapped into. Yeah. If anything, we deserve a reward or something. Like a trophy. When a guy still drinks whole milk. If I'm on a coffee date with a guy and he goes, can I get an iced chai latte with oat milk? A guy just drinks milk? Like, a he, sustain, could milk. Like, uh, he, he could protect you. Like, could protect you. I, I'm not gonna lie, the iced chai latte with oat milk thing is kind of valid, but on the other hand, the bar to being a man these days apparently is a real fucking low. Put them on that plane, they going right through the up. Uh, all the niggas gay as fuck now, it's crazy. All right, boys night fit check. Top from Buck Mason, pants from Lululemon, shoes from Oliver Cabell, crossbody back from Uniqlo. Let's get it. Uh, I have a dick, so I'm not doing this. I don't blame you. Now, I may be wrong about this. Let me know in the comments if I am, but have you ever in your life heard a straight man refer to his shirt as a top? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not so sure the guy in the beginning of the video was even straight in the first place, in which case this whole fit check video would kind of make sense. So anyways, when you're talking to the girls, guys, the number one tip, the number one tip I can give you is be a normal person. You guys horny or? No. Nailed it. Who's up for a three-way? Hey, yo, Vern, what do girls say to guys with big wieners? I don't know. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't know. You motherfucker. 
people said this was fat phobic because this trail has a size limit because of the narrow passageways and some people were saying that they need to make the canyon bigger and wheelchair accessible this world's fucking so fucked up so let me get this straight we are at the point where we want to destroy a beautiful natural marvel just so that fat people have room to squeeze through to see this natural phenomenon that you just destroyed like what the fuck like why is it so difficult for people to admit these days that being fit and healthy and eating right is a good thing like when you are so lost in your virtue signaling that you start commenting bullshit like this you have lost the fucking plot i am going to the gym and working out extra hard today just to remind myself that i am the furthest thing from one of these people and damn proud of it yeah, this is the number one exercise you guys need to be doing to lose that face fat. One, shoulders back, chest out, chin out, tongue on roof, and you want to go left, right, left, right, multiple reps. Now the key is to do that every time someone offers you food, you fat ass. It's science. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I didn't do fucking shit. Comfort is a warm and enticing poison. Yep. And it's a slow poison. Yep. You can take a little bit of it on the couch, just relaxing. And it is take nice. Take a little of it. It's nice. Mm. But don't let that get into your veins because it'll make the rest of your life harder because yep. you're going to encounter hard things. And if the hard thing that you don't voluntarily subscribe to, the hard thing that you don't force yourself into yeah. isn't harder than the other things in life, you're going to have a hard time managing. Yeah. And it's voluntary. It has to be voluntary. You have to choose it. You have to have discipline. This is one of the many things I love about going to the gym, man, because it teaches you about doing that thing that maybe you don't want to do it teaches you about discipline so that maybe when you run into the hard thing down the road now it doesn't seem so hard maybe it seems a little easier maybe now you have the grit to withstand this thing that maybe you didn't have before that's why you go out and you do the fucking hard thing because we know it makes us better stronger faster smarter a little failure never hurt anybody that's how you learn so you go out and you do the hard thing because it's hard that is your fucking journey that is your path and do not shy away from it just blaze. Oh, oh, baby. Am I all right? No. Am I going to be okay? Hell yeah. Take my heart, don't break it. Love me to my bones. There's no struggle, then it's nothing. There's no journey. That's the magic. You get to make that magic. It's like if you have, if you have a distance to go, you get to have a journey. You get to be the story. Imagine being born into an environment you never even get to have a journey. I think life is too much of, a, of an experience, and I'll tell you this, man, it's awesome.